This video is on the course of linear algebra and we are still on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces. We are doing a series of proofs now for vectors. Okay, proof that u plus v equals v plus u. Okay. So vectors u and v they are both in the vector space um, Rn. So vector u will be vector with components u1, u2, u3, etc. till un. It will stop at that n, of course. And vector v will be the vector v1, v2, um, etc. till vn. Okay. So u plus v will be the vector by definition will be the vector u1 u2 un plus the vector v1 v2 vn. So u plus v will be by definition a component addition, right? u1 plus v1 u2 plus v2 till un plus vn. Okay, and what is v plus u? Well, that. Be, that will be vector v first, v1, v2, vn, plus vector u, u1, u2, un. So v plus u will be, uh, we have to add components, right? Check the previous videos for all these definitions. v1 plus u1, v2 plus u2. Okay, but u1 plus v1 is equal to v1 plus u1 because these are numbers okay these are not scalars anymore these are numbers and they behave as in the reals so u plus v is equal to v plus u u plus v is equal to the addition of v plus u and that concludes the proof we are now asked to prove that the scalar multiplication of vector addition, so k times u plus v, is equals is equal to k times u plus k times v. So vector u is the vector u1, u2 till un, and vector v is the vector v1, v2, v3 till vn. Vectors u and v are both, and the vector space are n. And k is a scalar from the real numbers. OK, let us see um, first what is u plus v. So u plus v will be the vector u1, u2 to un plus the vector v1, v2, to vn. So u plus v, u plus v, will be u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2, till un plus vn. OK, and what is k times u plus v? So u plus v is this u1 plus v1. So the scalar times any vector, this is a vector now, is k times u1 plus v1, un times vn, this vector. So it will be k, k will multiply each component, k times u1 plus v1, k times u2 plus v2, till k times un plus vn. So k times u plus v, u plus v is this u1 plus v1, so it will be k times u1 plus v1, un plus vn. So this is scalar multiplication, so it will be k times u1 plus v1, k times u2 plus v2, etc. till k times un plus vn. So, but this, these are numbers, k, u1 and v1, they are all numbers because they are components, they belong to the real numbers, okay? This is a vector space over the field of the reals, okay? OK, so k times u1, this is k times u1 plus k times v1. 
etc. till k times un plus k times vn. Okay, but k times u1 plus k times v, v1, we can separate this, okay, because this is addition of components, because, so we have two vectors here, k times u1, etc., till k times un, plus k times v1, plus k times v2, plus k, k times vn. So k, k is multiplying all the components here, and k is multiplying all the components here. So we can take k out. Okay, so I took k out. k times u1, u2, till un, k times v1, v2, till vn. But this u1 to un is this vector, this vector u, and this v1 till vn is this vector, is vector v. So this is the same as k times u plus k times v. So we proved that k times u plus v equals k times u plus k times v, and this concludes the proof.